All right, now the big one is set for Saturday, the 2nd of November, the finals of the Rugby World Cup, and it will be between England and South Africa. And for the England coach, Eddie Jones, he says his team were ready to produce their finest hour after naming an unchanged team for the final against South Africa. Now, who do you think will win this one? Where do you think this will be won? And how do you think it will be won? Personally, being an England person, <laughs> um, I think England will win. Mm. It's going to be close. But a lot of people, is the, the biggest issue is going to be the contact area. Mm. If you know rugby, the collision, the forwards, that's going to be where they, it's going to be won or lost. Mm. But the best thing England can do, the South Africans are a very strong, very proud nation. Yeah. So what you need to do, you've got to take away their advantage. Their advantage is all about power. So England will go around them. That's the way I look at it. And then then that's why I feel the game will be won and lost. You know, this was exactly what um, England did against, uh, I think, New Zealand uh, before getting to the finals. They also, we all thought New Zealand were going to thrash England, but it never got to happen. Are we going to see that same upset against South Africa? Well, the upset, I think, would be if uh, <clears throat> South Africa were to turn England over. I think England went into this tournament probably third, second, third Se favourite. Mm -hmm. um, but they've proved that uh, throughout the tournament they've improved and shown us that they can play different styles. And I think that's where England hold the key advantage. Yeah. A lot of these sides we've seen um, are not capable of switching it up, um, even with uh, uh, multiple substitutions that we see in rugby these days. England have shown that they've got uh, different tactics. They can play the strong game, they can play kicking. the tight game, they can play the kicking game for possession. And they actually have quite a few runners out wide which they can yeah. bring into the game later on. I mean, they're more of an all-round team than South Africa. Yeah. But you have to be wary of the, yeah. of the box yeah, in exactly. terms of they play a very narrow game. Mm -hmm. Kick, put pressure on, squeeze the life, squeeze the, squeeze the life, squeeze out, the life the out of you, play territory and then hope you run back, make a mistake, they kick the goal or have a turnover. So their, their game is very limited. Mm -hmm. but. You never know what they're going to do. They're capable of playing the expansive game. But when you have a mindset for the last sort of six games of playing, this is our brand of rugby, it's very difficult to sort of say, oh, we're going to change how we're going to play all of a sudden and then we're going to come out and run the ball. Mm -hmm. So I think there'll be a few surprises from South Africa because yeah. everybody expects them to keep it narrow. But I think one or twice they'll chance their arm. But I think that's only going to happen if England have a lead and mm -hmm. then they have to come back and play. Well, the other thing to take into account would be the weather. Oh, the, we've yeah, also the weather seen a well. very, we've also seen the conditions in yeah. Japan, even on very, very humid, humid yeah, the road seems to be quite slippery. slippery. Oh. 